Therefore, a lot of people run into problems when they start up QuickBooks because they get this idea that they're just going to start up QuickBooks, they're going to turn on the bank feeds, and the whole thing's going to do itself and populate everything automatically. What really happens is you're going to pull in a whole lot of data into the system. It's going to go into what I would call bank feed limbo, meaning it's been pulled into the system, but it's not yet being used to get to the promised land of actually making the financial statements. You have to add the added information to do that. Accounts, customers, and vendors uh, are the minimal information you're going to need in order to pull it over. Once you do that for a few months, you can start to automate the process but you have to know what you're doing for those first couple of months in order to get the process to where it's gonna be automated. So now that we know that, let's go to each of these cycles. 